what is good in the hood, Squires? It's your boy. Yep. No. Um, I've actually never played a glass cannon on this channel before. I have a level 70 ember kind of just like laying around. And not only that, she's actually still a really good legend. Like nobody's ever actually called Ember bad, but nobody's uh, nobody to my knowledge has actually won with her. So, um, I mean, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna showcase the reasons why I think she's like she has potential to be one of the best characters in the game. Now, to me, she has a lot of tech that is currently unexplored that I explored during my time actually playing Ember. It's kind of in the sidelines. Sidelight and Sig is. It's the only sig that actually gets attention paid to, but all of her sigs are really convenient. Now, bow and katars are a little hard to kill with, but a friendly reminder, when you have her sigs, it's just like, seriously consider it. Now, I just gotta be careful every time that I uh, engage on this guy, but same goes for him. Now for every angle that Bo is not covering, or for every angle that the SIGs on Ember are not covering, you have you have to just go with light attacks instead. Of course that is the whole point of glass cannons, right? Side tick is extremely convenient. Katara's having it as a secondary is always really good, but I'm just gonna grind on bow real quick. Oh god, just gotta be careful again. I hate that for X. It always has so many active frames. Now this kind of playstyle is actually rewarded so much more as of this recent patch just because like people have really just kind of favored high damage punishes as long as you can anticipate them you're chilling. I'll play a little bit of guitars. I have to just get in and out on this on this guy. Okay, things are looking good so far. Weapon throw down. I haven't really engaged on this guy yet. Air follow up. Not bad. I'm going to recovery. Okay, I'm only getting contested a little bit. I only have to display as much respect as I need to. And then that read right there, side light, side sig, happens to cover seven dodges, and the only one it won't cover is up. Like I mentioned before. And the only thing that'll ever actually cover it, or the the only other move that covers it is N-Sig, and the only thing that covers wake-ups happens to be D-Sig. It just makes the whole process so much easier. D-Sig is a little weird. It reminds me, it's actually exactly like both of our sword side sig. Obviously a little bit worse because that's not the point of it. The step back is a little not exaggerated. It seems to be the problem with every back away sig in general. N needless to say, she pours out so much damage that it is not even possible in other legends. She will be killing earlier. That's her old thing. Her game plan is fairly simple, and for 400 mammoth coins, she sure happens to be like a new killer character in lower ranks, at least to me. But like, not extremely basic and easy because obviously, like, the stats are gonna matter more. In environments where people just don't know much to evade the move itself. Now we got Jelly from from Don't Care Tech on on Arcadia. Arcadia's Arcadia's got so much potential. Like her ledge traps are really really insane. It's fine. We're more insane. Okay, we dodged on hit. 
Ja. I just have to, I, I have to seriously manage, like, when he does and doesn't engage. It's great sword. This guy can do it at literally any, to any point in time. And it happens to work again. Katars into... Mm, actually, let's play bow into spear. Bow has a really good time into it. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I was playing against Greatsword. Or it wasn't. Oopsies. Go Nair. Nair. Katar Nair might be one of the best moves in Brawlhalla. Not a day in my life have I has it ever been like actually like bad. That or just really good in general. And D Sig also happens to kill a little earlier. Oh, hang on, we're packing damage. Dude, I hate, I hate that little late hitbox, but people insist to keep it, it's because having it as one swing would be broken, apparently anyways. Or like, having it as one swing would just be, would just be better, so, I guess I'll live with that, with that hitbox. Nice, I tucked it. No. Respectfully, I want to see if we can get a different match, and then we'll go from there. Sorry, Jelly. Next, we got Tag from Flourish. Dude, that avatar reminds me of experience and the drip, low key. Okay. Again, I just have to be really careful. I, I already hate fighting cannon. Okay. Yeah, nah. I've lost a lot of damage, but remember, I can bring all of this back if I just pay attention. My interactions mean more than his. Chillin'. I don't know if this guy primed his cannon or not, so until then I'm just gonna be playing bow. Just to really get in on that angle where he's like engaging through the air. I didn't expect this kind of cue so early. He's doing good. Okay.
I can understand that there's a few things I'm not really paying attention to. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna play guitars into, into gauntlets. Yeah, no, I wasn't walking up to this guy at all. God, I was not supposed to do that. That was a horrible idea. That is scary. Wait, who is this guy? I was <laughs> okay. I was wondering why I was playing such a high ranked match. He had his fundamentals down and everything. I didn't expect him to adapt. The guy was playing good. Jesus. There again. There again. Small parry. He's very close, so we can just continue to stuff him out. And squeeze the options out of him. Bro, are, are you serious? All right, next we got Zay Slat on the Thist. I've been finding a lot of cannon, just <laughs> a lot of high strength, high defense, or low defense, I mean. Oopsies, and turn light. And then D-Light Sarah is also a string, which is insane, by the way, to have. Alright, we're holding up good so far. Let's just get the guitars. Guitars have always been good at just base damage in general. It's just con convenient to have. It won't, we won't be able to cover as much, but we'll be able to engage just, like, way more. Okay, let's see what happens. I mean, so far I haven't gotten hit by any front moves. Oh my god! Who am I? Somebody stop me. Alright, I hope those words don't get me re reverse three stocked. Pretty please. I hit that move. Okay, Nair. Got the juggle down. Try to avoid the Nair. Ooh! I barely misfaced the D light. Or the side light, I mean. Damn it. And lights. Nothing really. Side light, also nothing. Just woke up. Interesting. And then side light, side sick is. It's not unjumpable, but in grounded wise, um. I mean, people tend to stay grounded when they get hit by Psylite anyways. So it's just nice to have Psylite and Sig, Psylite, Psylite, Sig. What's wrong with it? What's wrong about it? Like, there really isn't anything. Alright, next up, we're running up against the Poe. Okay. That works. Wu Xiang's uh, weapons are really interesting, but I don't really think they're that crazy. Like, I think my weapons should have a good time into this. 
Okay, check in for the second follow-up. Okay, so I'm spending a little bit too many options anyways. Got the wake up, nice. There. Contest. He attacked early. I'm just kind of tracking him down with Nair. He disengaged on me for some reason. Oh my god. This highlight side tick is so convenient, bro. I was being careful about it, but I got hit by it anyways. Or the insta jump too. Nice. There we go. Okay, I mean, things are looking good so far. Right. I'm not surprised I didn't read that. Whoa! I forgot I was fighting against the console player. Console players had that down to science, bro. No, I should have side sigged. I got too scared. He dodged into the stage. Yeah, no, he wasn't going to go for recovery. The GG's is a slat. 25-34. Not bad. We're making progress so far. I know we're not I know we're not making as much progress recently. I know I understand that like okay, well, it's not Valhalla in gameplay technically. But it really like I said, bro, like co college preparation is obviously not easy. All right, we got Z slat one more time. This guy was playing good, so he's on the man now. The man, bro. Rayman will always be like a top character. It's like the one character that I'm always like slightly confused against. We're kinda not doing this right. And lights, become aware of it. <laughs> there we go. As long as they're going in, I can actually just wall them out with DC. It's better that way anyways. Oh, that's a horrible idea. Let's try to really keep this extension going. Yeah, nah. I, I landed and I've I've never seen this guy get hit by a guitar nair like consistently. So chances are he was just running away from me. He wasn't running, he was just giving up stage. Okay, that's a hint sudden. Nothing really nothing went wrong with it. He went back on the ground after using a GC, interesting. Yeah, no, I've never seen this guy get hit by a nair before. And if it's not consistent, then that means that he's going for something else. No, I'm just reading the wrong things. Oh, I hit that super late. Oh, God. Okay. 
I was hoping I was just far away enough. Okay. Not bad so far. And light. Nothing. Yeah, not. The last time he dodged, he kind of just stayed on the ground, so. Being a punish is extremely convenient. Now let's rematch again. This guy's playing really good. There are just a few things that I need to adjust to though. Which I find interesting and weird because if anybody from lower ranks are fighting him, he get extremely like I, I feel like you get like his throat gashed open, bro. Like I can't believe you you GC, you land on the ground and expect to get away with it. Obviously it's working. But it's definitely like obscure because I don't expect much else. But then again, that's what adaptation is. Even though it's risky, as long as the opponent's not reading it, you're chilling. So that's what makes him a good player. I, I like faded in. I like went in. That's like the natural flow chart. If I don't give up stage, then this guy's gonna have a really easy time hitting me. Actually unpunishable. At least not with the sig, bro, cause I mean I guess. Well this is scary. So I actually timed that perfectly. Okay, not bad progress so far. I think we're gonna be fighting against Axe next, so what what better than to play it with bow? Yeah, no, he's he's just barely far away from the six. I I can't I can't throw one out right now. If he wasn't gonna commit to the recovery, then you might as well just go for the dare at that point. Uh, I mean, 
guess I wasn't reading it. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, no, I was assuming he'd go for recovery first, too. I, I wouldn't, I'm surprised that he'd even killed. Yeah, I guess we'll go with this one for last. I mean, yeah. Let's see what happens. And we're playing on the Rayman map, too. There we go. We're supposed to plant in as many hits as possible before we even get close to disadvantage. That wasn't true, by the way. Oopsies. <laughs> Let's go for side sig. Yeah, nah. I, I don't blame you for going for it, but it's the first thing people are looking for. That was good. Jump dodging is the result of avoiding many, uh, many hard reads. That's what I've done. That's what I've done uh, for pretty much my entire career against uh, Hardy. Maybe harder use, just anything with great sword in it, because I'm not trying to get hit by like a five piece. Not bad, actually. I probably could have spot dodged. This character's been. This character's old, like, nothing about her has actually been changed except for Bow and Sick. That was really good, actually. I was waiting too long for the read anyways. Okay. Interestingly desperate. I did not want to dodge prematurely. Oof. Keep doing all of this wrong. Loki, they should probably buff X and Z Sig Drift for the for like the charge. Yeah, now we're holding our objective extremely well. Remember the disadvantage from from like the game before really left me in a bad position. I was already taking in way more damage than I would have with with Kaya. Alright bro, you fought well, but this will be the last game. We'll see how he holds up. Bro, th this character has so much drip. I'm not talking about Ember, I'm talking about Rayman. Rayman's so, like, hip. Alright. Let's get to cooking. Ooh, that is upsetting. I did not mean to go for that. 
Yeah, like if I'm fading in, this guy is already going, going for the hit. And fading in just means like, like moving inward. Well, just but but like in the air, you're not walking towards the opponent. I meant to go from there. Not bad. Ah, uh, I knew I knew too early. The whole point of Gauntlet Ground Pen is to have less priority than every other ground pen in the game. But at least you can punish with it. Let's take our time here. If we rush in, then we're going to lose. That's just a given. Okay. I think that's a that's definitely true. Okay, cool. We bullied him to death, and now we have our lead. Um on his end anyways taken so we're doing better now dude this guy is like barely he's barely disengaged against every like grounded attack i've ever thrown out that was good Now he's, hold he's holding up really well. Kaya probably could have survived though. Shame. Start starting to miss her. This is scary. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Now, although matchup what matchups with weapons don't matter, like they're very valuable anyways. It's just convenient to have. That was terrible. Oh god. What? Oh, only in my universe would- Bro, only in the 4 defense universe would that ever kill. Oh, that is so sad. Man, I was hoping I'd bring it back, but again, like, you're not really supposed to be in that position in the first place. Let's sweat this one out.
Again, I don't blame him for going for it, but dude, like, it's the first thing to look for. Oh, I I just went way too far above the corner. My lead just got lost. Dang it. No landing on the platform for you, buddy. Let's see if we can wrap this up. Next time, don't be so don't move don't move more than you need to. Wow. Never seen that one before. You think he falls for Sidelight Insect this time? I haven't been able to showcase it all video. I'm about to take the risk. Nothing worth ever comes free! No. Okay, yeah, nah, this isn't gonna happen. I'm just gonna try and clean this up. I only have one shot at this. Boom. Boom. Okay. Woo! That was a good session. I wish I could have kept the 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 seven and O record, but unfortunately, it's just not in the plan for this guy. He played really good, and I mean, man, he he made he made Gauntlets look like he made Gauntlets look like a top five weapon right there. So peace.